Good morning, Banner. Good morning. All right, happy Monday. You have a good weekend. Weekend. Days oh. off are always great. Yeah. How about that weather? Was it crazy? <laughs> a little crazy. A little crazy. I mean, not quite what I was expecting. I'm not yeah. sure if it was crazy as what they were gonna, what they predicted, but yeah, it was a little different. A little different kind of weekend. So yeah. It's anyway, not quite the, yeah. you know, leading into the winter we've had yes. in the past. Yes. Yes. Hey, we uh, last week when I did announcements, I talked about our one word, <laughs> and we're, every one of the teachers is going to have a one word as well. Have you come up with a one word yet, Mrs. Young? Retirement. <laughs> retirement? Yes. Now, Granted, I won't no, retire wait a ever. minute. You, mean, you are not old enough to retire. Oh, nowhere near retirement. But I'm trying to start planning for my retirement. I'm, you know, I've got some stuff saved, but I definitely need to start considering more. So All right. So, students, working. there's this thing called compound interest. <laughs> and tell mom and dad about it that you need to start saving now so you don't have to worry about retirement when you're Mrs. Young's age. Yeah. Because I started a little late too, so good. My, and again, my word is perseverance. And students, I hope you're thinking about your words as well too, because I'm gonna start asking you and I'd like to know what your word is and why it is. So, and we just focus on that word and, and try to make us a, a better version of ourselves. So, Give you so, something to keep in mind. Well, good luck with your retirement planning. If you need any help, I don't know if I can help you, but <laughs> we'll see. <Maybe> <laughs> Direct me to someone who can help me. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of helping, we have uh, two of your students are going to help us with the birthdays and half birthdays. Yeah. So we're going to cut into Grayson and Amelia at this m moment in time. And uh, thanks for helping us with the birthdays, guys. Yeah. Happy birthday to Joseph Driscoll from 1A, Addison Forsyth from 5R, Hayden Poole from 1H, Zaina Michaels from 3TW, Christian Alloy from 5Y, and Mrs. Hudson, our technology teacher. And happy half birthday to Brian Hussain in, Le in Les Skills class, Praniversary Karpati in 4G, Julius Tognetti in 3TW, Cassidy Cox in 4G, Luke Louise Evans and KC, Ashton Fanello in 4G, Victor She in 1A, and Nadine, Nadine Wickerham in KB, and Mrs. B for Mrs. Ruth's class, and Mrs. Ruth. Wow, great job, Grayson, and great job, Amelia. Those were some challenging names to read. <laughs> Yeah, well done. Nice. Um, and don't forget, if it is your birthday, um, to go down to the office, get your birthday book and your wristband. I know a lot of kids forget that the day of their birthday, so make sure you, you get your book. Yeah, there's plenty of books, and thank you to the PTO for providing those books for us. So, Definitely. excellent job. Every week, again, we review expectations on certain parts of the building, and this week is the... Playground! Playground! <laughs> yes, we love the playground. Most it's definitely. been a good year on the playground. We've had a lot of great successes, and um, I just asked Mrs. Young, what, what are some areas that maybe we need to, students might need some reminders. What, what, what is an area that, just to keep us safe? Most definitely. So um, when we are playing, we wanna make sure that we're using equipment correctly, so that way nobody can get hurt. Um, we also want to make sure that we're using kind words so that way people's feelings aren't getting hurt mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and just some other kind of things to note if you are um, playing, you know, a game with some friends, make sure you're not near the windows of the school just because that can be disruptive to classrooms. Yeah, it's never okay to be disruptive. And if and if you're teaching and you've got some first graders hanging by your Screaming windows, <laughs> your kids probably can't be are distracted oh, quite yeah. a bit, right? Most okay. definitely. Okay, okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, great. So keep going. No, and I was going to say, you know, if we uh, get crazy weather, we just have to make sure that if we're outside and that blacktop is clear, um, not to play on any ice or snow that may be on the blacktop, just making sure that we truly are safe in whatever environment we're in. Yeah. It's very tempting to see that thing of ice or that looks like a snowball and just to whip it. But what could happen? I bet the kindergartners could tell me what could happen and the first graders could tell me what could happen. What could happen, guys? Yep, you're right, somebody could get hurt. So let's be careful with that. We, we don't want anybody to get hurt and we wanna have just a lot of fun, so. But you've been doing a great job on the playground, so thanks for all of, for, for having fun. It's good <laughs> to have fun. This week, well, is this the second week we are we're finishing up our STAR Winter Assessment. 
And how are you, are your students working hard? Are you feeling like they're giving a good effort? Yeah, most definitely, you know, given their, their shot at showing growth from the beginning of the year to this point. And, mm -hmm. um, it's just nice to have that extra data point. Absolutely, make sure you, kids, give it your best effort and because these scores do mean a lot to us and it shows your teachers how much you've been learning and as well as your parents. So, so keep get, making a good effort. I think you got one more test this week and then you'll be done. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> And last week we had, boy, just the other day, we sent our park cards home. Yeah, it's hard and to believe that we've already been through, what, half of our school year at this point. <laughs> it is so hard to believe. And, you know, I've just, it, it's good to see, I, and parents, I hope you are proud of your son or daughter. And uh, students, I hope you're proud of the hard work you've been um, been doing this this half of this year. And there's always room for improvement, so you so keep working hard. Keep, keep at it. Yeah. All right. Hey, we don't have quite a full week this week, do we? No, it's kind of weird. We just had one full week and now we've got a short week. <laughs> well, what, what's the, what, what do we have? So on Friday, we have a half day for School Improvement Day. So students, you get out at 11.15 and teachers, you get to go to meetings. <laughs> no, we, we, yeah, we get to. We get to go to meetings. Yes, <laughs> Not yes. Not get to. <laughs> we get to, yes. Uh, teachers, I believe we're learning something about uh, ESL and differentiation. So. Students, that's a big word, okay? <laughs> but uh, but anyway, we're gonna learn how to, our teachers are gonna learn how to better serve you. And so you get the day, half of the day off on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, enjoy that time, yeah. enjoy it. Oh, this week for fourth and fifth graders as well, they are taking a survey for us. It's called the Five Essentials Survey. And all fourth and fifth grade students in the entire state of Illinois take the survey. And basically, it, it's gonna ask you questions about school about what you like about banner maybe there's some concerns you have and we uh, really want you to give it your best effort and we we want to hear from you mm -hmm. so and you're gonna no actually mrs uh, hudson's gonna be helping out with that isn't yeah, she you'll, be you'll be doing that during technology class and again that's just fourth grade and fifth grade only okay and your parents already took took something like this as well for us <laughs> yeah hey i got a question for you mrs young oh, sure. the we have a paper cutter you know what the paper cutter looks like you know you have slice paper yep. um how does it function for you well, paper often gets stuck in it and it just kind of rips the paper instead of cutting it nice and clean. Really? Oh yeah, it's real bad. Well, um, everybody, I'm gonna cut in uh, just a minute here. Mrs. Ryan, she demonstrated to me how to use this and it's not broken. What? It is a good paper cutter. And let us show you, and teachers, I hope you're really listening to this. Uh, students, look at your teacher right now and make sure they are paying attention to what's going on here because this is valuable information that will affect the rest of their teaching careers this year. Okay. Here we go, Mrs. Ryan, show us how to do it. Mrs. Ryan is gonna demonstrate the challenges that we have sometimes with our paper cut. Mrs. Ryan, uh, are you gonna, tell us, tell us your strategy here if it does not work. We're gonna, she's got, as I'm gonna show you here, that's got a small, a little sheet of paper here. Oh, look at that, Some, oh my goodness, it's not working, is it? Are you gonna be able to cut that, Mrs. Ryan? Yes, I will be. Okay, what's the key to this? Okay, so I just put the paper in, I take the lever, and I push it in, and cut. Can you do that there again? You, wow, that was cut. amazing. Um, you pull the lever you in. Pull this lever. Okay. In, down. Look at that. And you can come up here, do it, down here. Do you, do you think we can teach you, student? Sure. Let's try it. Okay. Wow, Mrs. Ryan did a great demonstration, right? She really did. Like, I, I really thought the thing was broken, but I guess uh, it's a user error. <laughs> well, let me show you how anybody can do this. I shouldn't say anybody, but she taught a student how to do this. Mm -hmm. And let's see if the student can learn how to do this as well, too. <laughs> Here we go. I think that this is what teaching me. Whoops. I think that what this is teaching me. They're putting it down slowly on the right side. I think that it'd be better if you didn't you pull it to the left side of this. Could you cut another one? Let me see what you're doing here, Jazzy. Hard or easy? Easy. Awesome. All right, Mrs. Young, do you think you're ready to use the paper cutter now? I think so. I could probably head down right now and use it just <laughs> fine. <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan, and thank you, Jazzy, for your help. That was great, great help. <laughs> Last thing we have here is uh, if, you, if you've been in the cafeteria lately, you will notice that we have a new clock. It's called an atomic clock, and essentially it, it, it's digital, and it's huge, 
and it keeps time just like a cell phone does. So it's just gonna help us be more on time uh, as we're just getting dismissed and as, as students are coming into lunchroom. So students, I hope you like it. Um, I know some shared your opinions that you didn't care for, but it's it's there, it's it's gonna be there for a while. So um, hope, you, uh, hope some of you get to enjoy it at least. And we are getting to the end of our announcements and it is time for the joke, joke of the week. <laughs> what do you got for me, Mrs. Young? Okay, so I thought, you know, if it's supposed to be winter, I thought a nice mm -hmm. winter joke would be good. Um, so what is it called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? When a snowman has a temper tantrum, what is it called? Ooh, I says that I could see him having a snowball fight. I don't know what what it, what what it, what happens. Uh, a meltdown. He has a meltdown. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is good. Temper tantrum, meltdown. Yep. Oh, I get that. I get that. Oh my goodness, very good. And I and I hope we get some good packing snow where we can make some snowmen. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's time. It's, it's, it's it is time. We need really a little bit of snow. Time. <laughs> it's time for a bit of snow. So, Banner, hope you have a great week and. Uh, a lot of exciting things coming up this week and, and, and always, and as you guys always know, you belong here.